Captain Carroll. Good morning, Captain. Fine day. When are you heading off? Right away. Oh, you signed your new first mate? Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Barstow. Wolf Barstow? Oh, uh, I know he hasn't been in these waters for the last three years. But a man isn't likely to forget all he knows in that time. Oh, I guess Barstow knows the island trade all right, even if he has been out of it. But do you know what's happened to every ship he sailed on in those three years? Every boat has either caught fire, piled up on a reef, or gone to the bottom. Some folks say the man's a hoodoo. But others say... Good morning, that, Skipper. A uh, oh. pleasant journey, Captain. Yeah. Well, good morning, uh, Mr. Foster. Ready to sail? Mm. Uh, Bolton Murray, the man I recommended. About ready to cash off, sir? Uh, not quite. Uh, I'm waiting for a passenger. A passenger? Hello, Daddy. Oh, oh, my darling. Mr. Bosto, this is my daughter, Mary. How do you do? I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long, Daddy. Well, not too long, my dear, anyway. <laughs> well, we're ready to cast off when you're ready, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. cases of China fever, and they never realize how sick they are. Oh, you don't mean it. Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. He'll snap out of this and be just as good as you in just a few days. All right, Skipper. Wake up, Skipper. That's it. Time to take your medicine. Yeah. Bring it all. Right there. Now you'll be back. Yeah. Daddy, listen, Daddy. We're almost into Singapore now. And when we land, I'm going to get you a doctor. Mary, you know what I think of doctors. But, Daddy, you've got to have a doctor. How many times must I tell you that I don't want a doctor on this ship? I've never had a doctor in my life, and I don't want one now. Dear darling, now don't get yourself all up. Regardless of what he says, he needs a doctor. Well, I feel a good deal the same as he does about doctors, but if you say bring a doctor, I'll bring a doctor. Oh, and be sure you bring a good one. I'll tell you, Mary, if there's a good doctor in Singapore, you can rest assured I'll get him and bring him out.
Now listen. I'm going to let you men go ashore. If you ain't back here by daybreak, I'm going to come and drag you back. We're sailing in the morning. Only one night ashore. And he's held out half a month's pay on us. Ah, uh, he knows how glad we'd be to jump this hell ship. You'd better be back on time, buddy. He knows every dive in Singapore. Gah! Hey, Scar, you better stay here and row me ashore tonight. Anything you say, Bosco? Hey, now listen, you fellas. Remember what I said. If you're not back here, I'm going to come after you. Hey, how about the second mate? Is he going ashore? Oh, he's gone. I saw him getting shaved and powdered. A pretty boy. Die, gripes. I'm gonna hang one on his jaw before we land in Manila. Well, this old tub ain't never gonna see Manila again. Hmm. Another one lost at sea. Yeah. You've got a nerve to sink this one after all them others. You've burnt them, you've lost them in storms. Sunk them on reefs. Ain't you afraid they'll get wise? <laughs> no. No. I got a new way to do that. You think he hurt? I'll find out. Hey, Sam. Yes, sir. Come here. Uh, waiting for a boat? Yes, sir. Why weren't you ready to go with the men? I was busy, sir. Oh. Busy, eh? Well, I'm going ashore tonight. You better stay with the ship. I'm sorry, sir, but I've very important business in Singapore. <coughs> you, uh, heard too much. Oh! Lost at sea, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get ready and go. Where's Wong? Over there. 
Have a chair. Yeah, thanks. Have a cigar? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Tell me. There. You got my letter? Yes. Everything is all arranged. I have big cargo on your ship. Fine. Now the money is just the same as in your pocket. If we have no trouble, some of the sailors talked too much after last ship went down. Yeah? I say, listen, there won't be any sailors left to talk after this ship goes down. A real disaster? Sure. With many lives lost? Sure. An excellent idea. I approve very highly. Come on. Hey, waiter. Yes, sir. Check. The captain. Oh, he's nice enough, old fellow. He's, he's been pretty sick, though. He's got the Chinese fever. Don't think he'll last very long. In fact, Wong, I'll be tickled pink if he lasts long enough to get us out of port so we won't be delayed here. Are you anxious to leave Singapore? Sure, why not? I presume you wanted to see your girl in port. Oh, well, you mean Concha. Ha <laughs> ha no. I got a new girl. A new girl? Sure, the skipper's daughter. But can you trust her? Sure, I can always trust my women. Well, maybe you can't trust this one. Not right now, but after we've been shipwrecked for a few weeks together on a tropical isle, things will be different, eh? <laughs> hey, how much coverage did you get on this cargo? Eighty thousand dollars. Eighty? Great! Yeah, you should have had a hundred thousand. Well, however, with my half, I guess I'll be able to get me a boat of my own. Say, I've got to get me an officer before I leave port. I lost my second mate on this last trip, and I can't clear unless I have one. Well, you find all the officers you want at the bar. Well, that's fine. Oh, where are the papers? I got them here. Here you are. Great. Man, I guess we'll go out and look them over, eh? Well, we were sailing in the South Seas, in an 80-mile gale. And baby, that's some gale. And a 50-foot shark. <laughs> oh, the yacht! Oh! What's happened to you? Well, 
As I was saying, we were sailing in an eight-a-mile typhoon. <laughs> Where did you get it? Just a minute here. Why don't you take a full of your own size? You my size? Well, I'm near enough. Oh, fight, eh? <laughs> I like Stop it. him, Oh, no, no. Let him fight a while. What'd he do? He used to be the first office in the ship. Oh, just the kind of a man I need. I'm going to go and talk to him. <laughs> well, you're all right, my pal. You're all right. Yes? Yeah, just take you up just a little bit. Oh, that's nothing. What a boy. Pretty husky wallop you carry there, youngster. I'm not in very good condition, though. No? <laughs> Neither is Bill. You want any man? Yeah, one of my worst. How about a drink? Thanks. Now, let's go over and sit down and talk a little bit, will you? I understand you're a seafaring man. Yeah. Trent's my name. Steve Trent. I've got a certificate steamer sail if you know of a berth. Wow. I'm in need of a second mate. Can you sign on tonight? I'm for Manila, though. I suppose you want to get back to the States, eh? The port doesn't matter. I guess you get back on my feet. Bring us a couple of drinks, waiter. All right. Make it three. Who's your friend? Oh, we're both on the beach here. What do you do? Oh, I'm a cook and a good one, too. Yeah, I'll bet so. Say, I can make a Christmas dinner out of salt horse. And all hands swear it's turkey. <laughs> give room in the galley, the poor devil needs it. Yeah, give me a job, Governor. Oh, right well. Thanks. I'll cook me heart out for you. Oh, uh, thanks. See Bolson Murray at the bar. He'll take you out to the tub. Thank you, Sam. Okay. <laughs> all right, I suppose. Eh? Oh, yeah. Dancer. I wonder where she hails from. Oh, well, she's a half cast from the island down below here somewhere. She's a pet. Come on. 
Hey, kid, you look good to me. Let me go, you swine. <laughs> See you aboard, Shipman. All right, Skipper. I'll be there. Cognac. So you come to court and not tell me. Why? What's the matter with you, Will? Really? I feel great. You act so strange. Aren't you glad? Now we have a good time, eh? We make a big celebration. Like old times. Tell me about yourself. What ship you on now? Eh? Well, uh, what's the difference? I'm on an old schooner. You are still what they call first mate, no? Well, sure I am. I've always been a first mate. Been a little bit more than that on this trip, though. The old captain has been pretty sick. Concha, he welcomed you back. Now you must drink to Concha. Now I know why you not come to shore sooner. You stay with the captain, eh? You always were a smart girl, eh? I learned so much from you. But you will not have to worry. You hurry back, eh? You have someone take care of the sick captain, no? Sure. The captain's daughter. Daughter. Is she pretty? <laughs> I don't know. I know you will. Is she prettier than me? And I don't start in by being jealous of you. I can't. I don't know. Then do I? There are no men. Except you. Let's not spoil. There is so little time. Ah. Like that candle. There is only one way to put it out. I show you. I'm sorry, Hunter. There's no use pretending. I thought you were smart enough to. Catch on. But I see that I have to tell you. I'm through, Concha. Bueno. You are through with me. But I am not through with you. I give you back everything you give me. I know you like her. I can tell. 
That's fine. Wait. There is something else I forget. You gave me a long time ago. I want nothing to remind me of you. care if I never see Singapore again. Got a hangover, Bill? No. I don't like that guy, Trent. <laughs> What's the matter with the eye bloater? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Been looking through more keyholes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Have you had your breakfast? Not a drop. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Barthol. How'd you like your breakfast this morning? Who are you? Why, well, the cook, sir. No, you're not. After that breakfast you served, you're the dishwasher. This is the cook. Take orders from him now. You understand? Come on, come on. Good morning, Mr. Trent. Good morning. I'll turn over your watch to you now. All hands aft. All hands aft, I said. All right now, men. Here's Mr. Trent, your new second officer. You'll take orders from him from now on. And if any of you care to dispute his authority, you have my permission. All right, Mr. Trent. As long as you men do your work, you'll get a square deal from me. Dirty beach coma. Oh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mr. Barstow. Oh, Mary, this is Mr. Trent, our new second officer. How do you do? What happened to Mr. Miller? Well, he jumped ship last night in Singapore. Oh, uh, Trent, you'd better keep an eye on the men. Well... You said you were going to bring a doctor aboard last night. Oh, yes, dear. I made every effort to, but there wasn't a doctor to be found. They'd all gone up country, fever-stricken. going to do father's west this morning. Well, he'll be better, all right. You better have a little turn about the deck. Your cheeks are pale.
Got to put a little color in those cheeks. <laughs> Come, what do you say? A little turn or two around the deck, eh? Your daughter, I suppose, Mr. Barstow. The country, uh, <laughs> No. Now, this is Captain Carroll's daughter. Oh, Mary, dear, may I present an old friend of mine, Miss Ronaldo. How do you do? How do you do? You're very welcome here. Miss Ronaldo's folks are old friends of mine in Manila. She wanted to go to them, and I knew your father wouldn't care. You are so kind, Mr. Boss. Of course, Father wouldn't care. Uh, you'll excuse me, won't you, Mary? And I'll I'll make Miss Ronaldo a little more comfortable. I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Come on, you. Get on here. I want to talk to you. me? Yes. Yeah. And you'd better stay in it. Say, what the devil are you doing on board? Well, last night you would not tell me about that girl. So I come to find out for myself. She is very pretty. Well, still that stuff. Are you going to try to knife me like you did last night? Maybe. But now I see you are so happy to be with me again. I changed my mind. Hmm. But you must be very, very nice to me. Yeah? Then you keep your mouth shut and mind your own business. Maybe. You cause trouble for me, and I'll chuck you in the chain room the same as I would any one of the crew. Good girl. Maybe it was foolish for me to come to her, but I am very foolish. Or I never love you. <laughs> that is all over now. You have no sweetheart. <laughs> Shut up and stay shut. Shut and stay shut. That goes down Barstow's Bill's pipes. That's a soup like he's never tasted in his life before. I've really surprised myself. I don't know how I do it. Before Manila, sir. Oh, and precious little for Manila. There's no business left to sail these days. Come in. Mr. Trent will be well enough to come up on deck a minute, sir. Yes, I'll be right up. We'll be back in just a moment, Captain. Hand me those papers, please. All 
Oh, I'll take charge of that, We sir. didn't take down any cargo at Singapore. Oh, I beg your pardon, but we I know better. I'm sure for $80,000, eh? I see. I wouldn't get out of bed. I am still running the ship. Put up your hands. No, oh, Boston. That's why every ship you sail on goes to the bottom. Well, this is one ship you won't sink. You're going to Manila and Ireland, and you're going to spend the rest of your days in jail. just had a stroke. I warned him not to get out of bed. Oh, oh Daddy. we better hail the first steamer and transfer the skipper where he can have medical aid. If you wouldn't give orders to that effect, I'll stay here and help Mary. All right. Well, there it is. Oh, Don't worry. Please. I'll get him into bed. You go up and get some air. That's kind of be conscious. I believe I will. You believe Contra, your friend? Why, yes. You trust me? Why, yes, Contra. Then I tell you something. Like woman to woman. Contra tell you, stay away from Barstow. Don't be alone with me. Mr. Barstow? <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. You know nothing about me. Me? I know plenty. I have seen him look at you. And whenever you get a chance, put his hands on you. Let go of that jib chase! That's what they're reading nowadays. Give me a good old-fashioned romance, where a man's a man, not a gigolo. What do you mean? A real man doesn't go around sampling all the women he meets. When the right girl comes along, he knows it. Hey, Peggy, come in. Yes, I want to see him. Below. I ask him. I didn't like the book much myself, but then I don't know anything about such things. How can you be so sure? Because I knew the moment I saw you. Barstow was treating you, sir. Very well. Trent, we'll settle our differences later. Yes, sir. He should be buried immediately. I'll read the services at eight bells. I'll tell all hands to stand by. <laughs> Poor child. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God of his great mercy 
to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother here departed. We therefore commit his body to the deep, to be turned into corruption, looking for the resurrection of the body, when the sea shall give up her dead, and the life of the world to come. a dead skipper. Think of that poor girl crying her heart out. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, come on, come on, Paul. We, we better get on up and get, uh, get, the, get the morning breakfast started. We do. Good idea, Snowball. You get out yourself. Do you think you throw me out and tell her a lot of lies? And you think she believe you? Well, I tell her about you, and I tell her about your dirty deals with Wong. Shut up, you! I know it's too late to shut me up. Gee, she knows what you are, a lying sneak, a fatherly protector who can't keep his hands on I'll shut you up. I'll turn you over to the truth. Come on, you. I'll turn you over to the truth. You do it, I tell you. You come on here. You come on. You'll come on. I'll let you go. You'll do it, I tell you. Oh, you me, will you? Why, I'll give it to the man. Mr. Bosco, I wouldn't treat a dog like that. Uh, you again, eh? Come on, man. Take him. That's it. Don't let him hit you down. That's it. Come on. 
entirely on you. Think it over. Well, that'll hold you all right. Go on. I'm going to ask you what you're going to do with Mr. Trent. <laughs> what do you care? He's just another sailor. Well, I'm still commanding this ship. The law allows me to use any measure to preserve discipline. And, uh... I can do anything I want to with him. I've been waiting for you to come here and beg for him. Come on. Sit down. Let's get down to cases. I admit I... I have had my eye on you ever since I came aboard this ship. And I usually get what I want. Well, well, you're going to marry me. Marry you? Yeah, marry me. Regular, proper, and legal. All right. I'll marry you in Manila. Oh, no, no. You might change your mind after I try to shore. We'll be off Ladrone Island tonight. You'll row ashore with me. The missionary will tie the knot with us. What do you say, huh? What do you say? Boys, listen. This ship will be put in charge of Miss Carroll when we get to Manila. Now, Manila's a dry port. There's plenty of liquor on board, and Basto wants you to drink it up. <laughs> cargo for Wong, on which he collects if the boat goes down. Oh, oh. she goes down tonight. Huh. You always were smart. <laughs> 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 Come on, Mr. 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 Come on,
the other one, conscious. Hmm. I'm a generous soul, and you're all mine. Mm -hmm. You're going to have it. No, thanks. No wild cats for me. <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> you know I didn't mean anything about that 10,000, no, don't you? You didn't? No. Time down below deck. Why don't you go down and dance for him? No. Go down and dance for him or I'll. All right. Maybe I will. I changed my dress. There's uh, something like it. There's lots more. Here, go on, Prince. What 
Trent, what are you doing here? As long as you're here, now come along with us. Well, where are we going? We're showing up in the nearest island. Adieu. Oh, no. No, help. 